All right then gang, so currently it's looking pretty good. We've got the dashboard under control and we've also done the team page as well. Now I'd like to turn our direction to the projects page, in particular my projects. And on this page, what I'd like to do is list out all the different projects that are mine. So not like the dashboard where we list out every single project by every single person, but in my projects, I just wanna see my projects, the Net Ninja. And then maybe if we click on one of those projects, it shows us the content and a little bit more about that project. Because on the dashboard, we don't have any content. We just have a title, person, due by, and the status. But on this page, I'd like to be able to click on a project and then it zooms down in some kind of toggleable state to show you more information. Now, the component that I'm gonna to do to achieve this is the expansion panel. So just type in expansion panel right here to view more about this. But essentially, in its most basic form, it's gonna look like this. So we have some kind of title over here and an arrow. And when we click on the title, it expands to show us more information. We can click again and it goes back to its normal state. So that's what we're gonna do. If we take a little look at the source code over here, we're gonna see how to make these expansion panels right here. So you can see, first of all, we have this component, then this component, and we're looping through this component to show five right here. We're gonna do the same kind of thing to loop through our projects. And then right here, we have a div with a slot of header. So again, we're using a slot here. We saw a slot and that slot was equal to the activator. This time the slot is equal to the header, which is this thing over here. And a lot of the time you're gonna find that Beautify uses slots to be the toggle button or the thing that you click to activate something or to toggle it between states like this. So before we used activator, which is used a lot in different components, this time we're using one called header because this is the header of the expansion panel. So we have that div right there, and then we also have a card with the content inside it. So this stuff right here. So that, in our case, is gonna be the project information. So what I'd like to do now is just copy this code, and I'm gonna paste it over here in my projects page, and I'm gonna put it above the container because we're just gonna use this as a reference. And a lot of the time, this is how I like to work. I think it's effective. Just look at the documentation, find a code snippet, then paste it in your own editor and use it as a reference to make your own version of that code, all right? So then, we're inside a vContainer, and by the way, this is the project component right here. And the first thing I want to do inside here is make the expansion panel. So I'm gonna use this thing right here. So let's copy that and paste it right here. And we need to close that off as well. And then inside that, we need the expansion panel content. So v hyphen expansion panel hyphen content and this is ultimately the thing that we're going to loop over and over again with like they have done v4 but we'll be looping through our data later for now let's just do one of these panels then look at looping through the data okay so inside that we need this thing right here a div with a slot prop equal to header so i'm going to copy that and paste that down there as well. This time, this is gonna be the project title right here. So let's say project title like so. All right, so we have that. Next up is the card and the card content. So again, I'm gonna say v hyphen card, and then inside that, v hyphen card hyphen text. Okay, so now we can place in whatever the information is, the actual content about that title right there. All right, so we also want a due date we don't just want the actual content, so we want a due date as well. When is the project due? So let's do that above the information. We'll say div, and then give this a class of font hyphen weight hyphen bold to make this bold. And then we'll just say due by, you know, xx dot xx dot xx, whatever the date is. And in fact, let's put this in a div as well. So div and then info. So that's where the actual content is going to go in this div. So if we save this now, what I'd like to do is just get rid of this. We don't need this reference anymore. Save that again and view this in a browser. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm gonna refresh over here and we get those projects for some reason. So let's come over here and save again, just in case it didn't catch those. And there we go. We have now our first expansion panel. And if we click on that, we can see the due by and also the info. Now, what I'd like to do is just style this a little bit using some CSS classes. So first of all, I'd like to go to this card text and give this a class equal to 
P, X hyphen four, just to give this some padding in the X direction left and right. And then also I want this to be gray text. So let's also say gray double hyphen text. Okay, save that, view that again. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so now we have our first expansion panel, but like I said, what I'd like to do is cycle through each of our projects and then output those projects that are mine onto this page. So for that, we're gonna need some data. So down here, let's say data and inside return an object. Now we want that projects data. We already created that in the dashboards. So let's copy that and paste it right here like so. Now, as you can see, we have all of the projects here. Now, I don't want to show all of the projects. I just want to show projects that are mine, so the Net Ninja. At the minute, there's only one, but later there might be more. So how am I gonna address this? Well, first of all, I don't want to just delete these three because I might retrieve some data later and there might be more than just the Net Ninja's posts or projects rather in there. So I want a way to filter through that data. So what I'm gonna do is actually create a computed property. And if you don't know what these are, be sure to check out my Vue.js series. But I'm gonna say computed. And then inside that, I'm gonna create a computed property called my projects, like so. And inside here, what I want to do is return an updated value based on this. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and cycle through these just to make sure it works. Let's go up to this thing over here, the expansion panel content. And what I'd like to do is cycle through and do a V4 on each one of these things. So we have a new one for each item. So let's say V hyphen four and set that equal to project in projects. And then we need to bind some data to this on the key. And we'll just set that equal to the project title because that is unique after all. And then down here, instead we can output the project title, so project dot title, and then down here we can output the due date, so project dot due, and then down here we can output the content, which is project dot content. Okay, so save that, view this in the browser. Now we can see all of these different projects, but like I said, these are everyone's projects, right? We don't want to output everyone's projects, we just want ours, which is why I'm creating this computed property. A computed property is gonna look at some kind of data, can manipulate it, and then return an updated value based on that data. So instead of cycling through this eventually, we're gonna be cycling through the updated version of this, which I'm gonna compute right here. And in here, I'm gonna filter through these projects to find only those where the person is equal to the net ninja. So then, we need to return a value here. We're gonna return this dot projects dot filter. And the filter method just filters through an array to return an updated array. And each time around we filter through this, we take in the project into a callback function. So this will refer to this, then this, then this, then this, as we cycle through the array. And inside that, we want to return either true or false. Now, if we return true, then that project is gonna remain inside the filtered array. If we return false, then it's gonna be filtered out of the array. So we want to return true when the person is equal to the net ninja. So we'll say return project.person is equal to the net ninja, like so. So if the project.person is equal to this, then this statement will be true and that item will remain inside the filtered array. And we can reference that now using my projects. And by the way, in reality, this isn't the way you'd do it. You'd have some kind of authentication system and only maybe retrieve the documents which are yours when you're logged in. But since we're not doing authentication here, this is just a little way I'm doing it right now. So up here now, instead of cycling through projects, we can cycle through the computed my projects right here. So let's replace that with my projects. And now we're only cycling through that filtered array, which will just be this one for now. So save it and preview this. And now we only see that one. Now, just to test this, I'm gonna copy this. and I'm gonna paste it down here and just change it a little bit. So let me just put, Again on there, save it. Now we have two projects, so we should see two on the screen, and we do, okay? So there we go, my friends. That's how we can create expansion panels. 
we do it using the V expansion panel component right there. Then we have the expansion panel content, which we cycle through for each project. Then we use this div with a slot property, and that is equal to header. This is the thing that controls the toggling of the expansion panel, and we see it right there. Then we have a card underneath with our actual content inside it. 